everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to cover part one of my series on how to automatically generate a PDF and attach that PDF to an email that will be sent to a customer. So what I will cover today is how to create a Word template for Dynamics 365. For the agenda, I will quickly do a quick recap of why I'm doing multiple WTF episodes. And then I'm going to talk about the process and flow components, followed by common use cases. And then we're going to jump straight into the demo. The reason why I've decided to create multiple WTF episodes is because, well, I simply couldn't fit it all into one episode. Otherwise, it would have been way too long and I don't think anyone likes long videos that I do. <laughs> so I thought it would be better if I had separated out. So part one, which is today, will be creating a Word template for Dynamics 365. Part two will be creating a custom connector, which will then call a couple of Dynamics 365 API requests. And then part three is the flow that will show you how to automate generating a PDF and then sending it as an email um, to the customer. And in terms of the process, I am using an out of the box entity called invoice. Whenever the invoice status reason is updated to paid, that will trigger my flow in Power Automate where all of that magic will happen behind the scenes. And then as an end result, the customer is going to receive an email where they can see their PDF attachment. So that's that's pretty much it in, in terms of a nutshell. So in terms of the flow components, uh, like I mentioned, we're going to use a word template. We are going to call a couple of Dynamics 365 API requests where we're going to do that in the form of a custom connector. And then we are going to use CD, the CDS connector in part three, where I show you how to build the flow. Cool. Sounds perfect, right? <laughs> well, I hope so. Okay, so in terms of the common use cases that exist today, as a customer, I want to receive a tax receipt of my purchase in an email so that I have confirmation of my purchase. Another typical use case is as a customer, I want to receive a tax invoice of my purchase in an email so that my finance team can pay for the invoice. The use case that I will use for part one, part two, and part three is the tax receipt use case. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the demo. I'm in my Dynamics 365 instance and I'm in the settings area. You want to head over to the menu and select templates and there will be an option called document templates. When you select document templates, there will be a list of templates that are available in your Dynamics 365 instance today. There will be two types. The first one is Excel and the second one is Word. If you want to create a new document template, there's an action in here that will allow you to do so. Once you've created that new document template, you can also upload that template into your instance. So I'm going to go ahead and select the new action and select Word template. And the entity that I want to use is invoice. Once I select the entity, I can also select relationships to other entities that the invoice um, has an association with. So to get information about the product, I can select invoice products. And then if I want information from the account or the contact entity that's associated to the invoice, I can select these two relationships in here. Once I click download template, uh, a new Word file will appear to be downloaded and you can open it. And one of the important things that you do need to be aware about is the developer tab in your ribbon needs to be enabled. I will provide a link to the official docs.microsoft.com article in my blog post. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, so you next want to select the XML mapping pane. By default, it will be this value here and you want to update it to the reference to your Dynamics 365 instance. Once you select this, not only will you see the attributes of the invoice, but if you scroll down, you will see attributes of the associated entities and that's based on the relationships that you had defined before we downloaded the template. So if you want to select the first name of the contact, to do so, scroll down and select first name, right click and 
in the insert content control, the option that you want to select is plain text. And straight away, you have a reference to the attribute. And so whenever this document uh, will be generated, it will automatically grab the first name of the contact associated to the invoice when you run this Word template in Dynax365, which I'll show you. And then there's also the option to insert a table. So you can enter in text in your first row to represent the header. And then this is where we can select the fields from the invoice detail relationship. So the first one that I want to select is quantity. So as you can see, you pretty much just select your attribute, right click and select plain text for all the attributes that you want to reference in your word template. So the next thing that I want is the product ID name. And then in terms of the cost, it will be price per unit. And then for the total, it will be extended amount. Okay, so if you want to have a continuous row of your invoice product records associated to that invoice, what you want to do is select this row and head to that relationship header, right click and select repeating. That will then continually display rows that will represent your invoice product that is associated to the invoice. So once, you've, once you're done defining the attributes that you want in your Word template, this is where you can go and style it. And then once you're okay with your template, you can save it and then you can go back into Dynamics 365 and upload the template. Now, if you wanted to view and customize any of the existing Word templates in your Dynamics 365 instance, you can do that. However, if you open up the document template record, you can't see any way to download the template. So there is a tool that we can use today called XRM Toolbox. This was created by another Microsoft MVP in our community, Tangi. He is an absolute legend in our community. He created this toolbox to help you know, people like us to customize and configure Dynamics 365 and now CDS. And there are contributors around the world who have created tools and loaded their tools in this toolbox. So if you want to see other tools, um, open the tool library and then you can select that tool and then download it. So the one that I'm going to go through today is the document template manager. So once you select that tool, it will now load this tab. This tool was created by another Microsoft MVP in our community, James Novak, um, so that we could download existing Word templates and we can modify them and then upload them back into the Dynamics 365 instance because we can't do that today within the actual interface of Dynamics 365. So as an example, I will select invoice and I will select download template and then I can select a folder for it to be downloaded to. So once I head over to that folder, there's that template that we had just created. And as you can see, it has grabbed through um, the existing template that exists today. I've actually updated this myself and overridden the out of the box one. So this one may look different to you. But then once again, if you want to um, change any of the attributes that are in the template, you simply uh, update this to the reference of the Dynamics 365 instance and then straight away you can insert the details that you want. So again, plain text and then if you want things like shipping detail or um, the bill to information, you can go ahead and select that in here. So once you have, oh, now it's not responding. <laughs> Let's just give it a moment. So once you have, again, selected and defined the attributes that you want in the Word template, you can save it. So if I hit save, that will save it into my um, file in this folder. And you go back to your XRM toolbox, and then you can select this option in here called Upload Single. 
and then you browse over to that folder that contains your word template and it's also going to prompt you with a warning if you have the file already open so that's another cool thing that the tool does so thank you James if you're watching so I'm going to click OK and let's try that again and if we click open this is going to tell you that it's going to overwrite and if I want to continue and I select yes so this will now update that uh, template so now when I go back into Dynamics 365 and I run that word template we're going to see the changes that have been made so now when I open this I should see the invoice and the invoice number as well and in this word template I have the continuous rows as you can see so it not only um, reference the invoice ID number that I had selected but previously I defined that I wanted it to be repeating rows and that is it for today's WTF episode on how you can create a word template and upload it into Dynamics 365 please join me in part two of my series where I will show you next how to create a custom connector for Dynamics 365 Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in part two. Bye. Let's go. Let's go.